the mighty iron cometh, but will it be enough to save us from total bankruptcy? Really? Oh no! Hello everyone, Buck here. Welcome back to some more Automation Empire. Where on last episode we got into refining the coal, making lots of money, and even doing a little bit of research on the side. But now we have to figure out where to go from here. What was our plan? Oh wait, that's what our plan was. Iron. Getting into basically the same thing with coal, we're going to be setting up a small factory to start refining some iron and getting that sold as well. And the purpose of that is if we look in our research tree here, we have reached the 1500 kilogram mark to unlock the claw train. And I've collected enough research to make that happen, so we'll grab that. The next one that we want to get, we're going to skip over this one for now, because we, we don't even have we don't even have that any of that set up yet. Um, we're going to be aiming towards the claw track truck unloader, and this is going to basically replace the drones. It's going to make our output better. We're going to have more kilograms per month. We're going to have more money, and it's just an overall better system. But to do that, we need to get from 2880 kilograms to 4,000 kilograms. So once we get some of this refined and start shipping out some of the some of the iron, it should uh, we should definitely get there. But let's get started on our factory. Now as an overall layout here, um, this all this is going to go away. And eventually I think we're going to end up moving this, but that might be in a couple of episodes. And the reason for that is we want to have a combiner factory kind of in this area as close to where we want to use the claw tracks to sh to run out <clears throat> excuse me run out crates to the to the trucks but we'll get into that later so we're going to keep our factory a little bit out of the way over on this side and also as i i wanted to let you guys know i did a little bit of test and i put in a third system over here with another set of three refiners since we obviously had the space and as you can see it completely emptied the tubs and then none of the system was working 100% of the time. So with the five uh, miners being connected to two crates, it's it kind of backs up. But if you repeat this system again, then it, it's, it's not enough to keep it going. So for now, we're going to leave it that way. But we'll take that into consideration since we're also using five on this side. So we did a 10 by 10 before <clears throat> and it was honestly too big. So we want to get a little bit away from that. We don't want to be too close to that mine track. So we'll go here. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. 39,000. It's pretty cheap for a factory. Now we want to hook up all of this mess. And this is kind of like a bit of a jigsaw puzzle at times. The best way to run a minecart in a loop around all these things and then come into our I think we want to have our input from the factory right here so actually let's let's start with that let's make that simple Put that there just run that out okay so do we want to <clears throat> loop it around this way do we want to have a loop in general or Maybe we'll experiment with the one-way track. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Let's get some things rolling here. All right. So, actually, I think that might be better. And let me see here. Loop that. Or go around... don't think I can cut that around right there so I don't know we'll figure it out as we go let's uh, let's do this we can make adjustments as we need to right right now I know this will work I know this will fit yep now the next one these two are actually flat so if I was coming around <clears throat> I could go way out and loop that around, but it just kind of seems like a little bit of a waste. Um, let's see, on that side, that would definitely fit. That would definitely loop around to that. And then, hmm, loop around to this. And then back and loop. Oh, that's a lot of extra loops. Okay, give me just a minute. I'm going to figure out the best and the op most optimized way to figure this out, and we'll come back to you. 
All right, guys, so there we have it. I made a little bit of changes, got the rail cart optimized, and <clears throat> just so I didn't have to make some crazy big looping track that come down here and all the way back up around, I just felt like that would be way too much time. The mine cart was rolling around empty. So I did another little pickup and drop off point. Now we'll have one mine cart just running in and out of the factory, picking up the storage container that this cart will continuously go around and loop and pick up and drop off there. <clears throat> I thought it worked out pretty nicely. I was also able to slide the factory up and save a little bit of space, although I'm r really not sure why I, I do that. Eh. We'll have more room later on. All right. As we get to setting up this factory, uh, we're down to $133,000, which you may think is a lot, but I'm going to let things run and accumulate some cash in the background. So we're going to need to add a few more things over here once we get this up and running. So let's get in here, get our storage container on there, there, there. Now let's do, oops, I was already on it. Create maker. And I really hope this factory isn't too small. I either make them way too small or way too big. Eh, we'll, we'll see what's going. We'll see what happens. Let's see. Step conveyor. I need. Can I just do two? One going that way. One going that way. One going right in. Yeah, I might be able to get by with just two since we're a little tight on space. Let's see. Oh wait. What am I thinking? That's not going to work. Yikes. Don't. Didn't quite leave enough space there. There we go. <clears throat> now we need our transfer clause. So the first one's going to go that way. Second one's going to go that way. This one skips two. This one skips one. And... Now these, we're just going to do one for now and see if we have the space. It really doesn't look like we do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, hmm. So I did another one there and I, could, I guess I could run it down to here. Maybe, maybe let's see. Need one of those, one of those, one of those, but this time we're going to take it down to there. here. Let's try that. Then we need one of those, one of those. We'll go ahead and make our other system now to see if we have room on the other side. If not, I'll have to extend the factory and replace everything down again. Wouldn't be the first time and I'm sure it won't be the last. That refers back to my, uh, one of my previous videos I mentioned about how I love that about this system is for anybody wanting to experiment with different sizes, compact factories, if you if you do botch it up, uh, you can sell everything back. You don't lose any money and just kind of experiment until you get it right. Okay, put those things in in a minute. I need to see this. Money's getting very, very low. Okay, I, yep, I could just do that, that, and that. Run this down. Turn it there. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be nowhere near enough room. So we're good this way. We need to go out about one or two more that way, I think. Because this would be the pickup. You can put it anywhere. There's not even enough room for the vat. And then where would you get the minecart in? So, all right. I'll skip you through that boring part. I'll erase all this, extend it out a couple, and I'll meet you back here in a few seconds. All right, guys. I got the factory in. Turns out I did need just one more space. So if you ever want to duplicate this little factory, it is a 7x8 and it fit in there perfectly. Now I took a few more extra steps off camera and I went ahead and put us in another loading station and I added this really cool raised minecart. And the reason that you want to raise minecarts when you're making them go long distances is the higher that you raise them, the faster they will travel. So it cuts down on that dead time while you're uh, 
pick up and output points are waiting for uh, the goods to be delivered. But we have problems. Oh, do we have problems. Our finances are not looking so good. We have yet to hook up the power. We have yet to put our pickup points here. And we have yet to put our power plant down. We're not making a lot of money. We are teetering on the edge of going bankrupt. Our empire could be lost forever. But hopefully with some quick action, quick thinking, we can turn things around. First of all, I'm going to unpause it for a little bit. Uncle Sam's bites are getting pretty hefty out of our bankroll, but we're still in the positive, which is good. Let's start by the first necessary things to get this system turned on and, and running. We are going to need some unload stations for the drones. Zoom in a bit here. These are so expensive. We're going to start with three until we get some extra money to go bigger. Now, we are already at 27 out of 40 and now hooking up five more miners plus a mess of stuff at a factory. We're going to be overshooting that big time. So we got a little bit more. Uh, we had a little bit more money. Thank you, Uncle Sam. Come on, we got some trucks going out. All right, good deal. We'll get a little bit of that money back. We'll pause it. We'll hook everything up. We'll hope our empire doesn't crumble. Come on, trucks. Come on, there's one. How are we doing on Uncle Sam's bite? Okay, we're about halfway there. There's two, and pause. Okay, now we want another one of these right next to that. It's expensive. Very expensive. Now we need a power pole running across the street. No, no, no. Okay, let's do one there. Um, there. Okay, those are powered. Now we got to get everything over here. That, that, that. I think I can, yeah, I can run through. That's a good deal. So this one's kind of chaining off of that. That's cool. We don't have to worry about powering that one. That one, and now everything is up and running. Our power costs are going to go up, which means our profits are going to drop. But hopefully with this new refined iron, somewhere along the way, we can make up for that. I noticed in uh, letting the game run a little bit off camera that the drones in this setup weren't really keeping up with all four stops. Which is why instead of adding more stops, I just kind of ran the cart around uh, this way, added another station here. And hopefully with maybe a, one more drone bay and some more drones, they can keep up with everything. Uh, before I add a drone bay, let's 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 see how everything goes here. All right, our factory is powered. Uh, let's, um, why aren't you picking up? That's an out. That's an out. Oh, okay. All right. Well, it seems like sometimes it has to run by every output a couple times before it will actually start picking anything up. I don't really understand that, but it just seems to be how it is. Let's see, that's going to get... Okay, just two. Come on, baby. We need that iron. All right, crate makers are working. Did I set these? Yes, I did. How's our money? We are riding on the edge of disaster, guys. We need to turn this around quickly. Oops. All right, here comes our first bit of iron in the tub here. Oh, come on, get there before the carts do. Come on. All right, there's one. And it looks like we're only going to be shipping one. Let's follow this. You see how it kind of takes off speed? It starts to go faster as it gets higher? All right, and did we make this long enough? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah, that's got plenty of room. Plenty of room. Okay. So this should have more now that this is rolling. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting a full five carts loaded, which means this will definitely get three. And this one's not working. 
Now it is two, three. It'll have a little bit for next time. I'll try to keep this at a three cart. Now wait, what? Wait, what? That emptied five carts, and this picked up three carts. Okay, that time there's... Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, sure. Sure game. We'll go with that. Alright. 11 out of 40. Now, something I wanted to do with this is... See, we have these things sitting here because we don't have drones on high priority. So let's, let's pause this a second. We got that, we got that. Now I want to set these, the trucks, to only take iron. Because I don't want coal being brought from over here to there. So we're going to set this, none, and only to iron. <clears throat> we may need to add some more drones, but now that we got everything set right, let's just see how the drones react, and then we'll kind of go from there. Yeah, yep, nope, no guys, no coal. No, no, you go back to your other side of the road. All right, now we've got these. These are on, I guess we can put that on high priority as well. I had it set to medium last time so the drones didn't go back and, and forth as back and forth as much. Good Lord. Did you ever have one of those days where it just seems like nothing's going right? You can't talk. Nothing's working. Your empire's about to crumble. Yeah, that's me. That's me today. If you've had one of those days, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Let me know how you feel. Misery loves company, guys. Misery loves company. All right. We have got our first truck of iron going out. We're still in the positive. That's good. Oh, see, these drones are taking it over there. It's because I forgot to do something. Hold on. Before that one leaves, let's set this the same way we did with the other one to only accept coal. Oops. There we go. Did I do that one right? Yes. Okay. We'll see how the drones rea react to that, and then I'll make the decision of whether we need to buy some more or not. I'm thinking that we probably will. Okay, the drones are kind of split up. That one's getting that one pretty, pretty good. This one. What I'd like to see is no more empty trucks. This should take care of our empty truck problem, and if we can take care of that then this should get a whole lot better because we're already up to a hundred thousand dollars a month in expenses and our income hasn't increased from 123 not yet maybe this month will change hopefully hopefully okay we're getting really backed up here we're getting really backed up there and we have empty trucks so yeah i'm thinking we definitely ooh, nine grand definitely need some more drones so let's see what this next bite out of Uncle from Uncle Sam uh, does to us. We got another truck out, ten thousand eight hundred. Hmm. Iron might save the day, guys. Look at all. Look at that money. We were close to being in the negative. Look at all that money. And Uncle Sam's gonna take what half? Probably half. Eh, twenty-seven thousand. But we might make that up with an look. Look, no more empty trucks. No more empty trucks. All right, that settles it. Even though we don't have empty trucks right now, I'm seeing a lot of crates just kind of sitting here. So I'm going to go with one more drone bay. Actually, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let's wait to the end of the month. Let's see what our numbers are at the end of the month. I'll probably do it anyway, but I don't want to raise the power cost before I get a good reading of how much this new iron factory is going to help us out. Okay, they're doing their thing. We're almost there. Still not seeing any empty trucks. Whoop, whoop. Almost a truck collision right there. Be careful, guys. That one will go in here. Our money's back to looking good again. Any more trucks? We might get this truck out before the end of the month. Maybe. Come on. Come on, buddy. You can do it. No, didn't get there. Okay, so, wow. We have definitely turned things around to the positive, guys. Whew. I was really getting worried that we were going to end up belly up in this little adventure. But some quick thinking, some positive attitude always turns things around. 
So let's get back to that drone bay now that we have $101,000 to play with. Let's see. Put you there. That. And drones. One, two, three, four. Now if I zoom in a bit, this is empty, but it's probably because of this long, long, long track here. Where? Oh, there you are. It's coming, right? It's coming back? Okay. I don't need to add another cart to that because we've still got one empty there. So we're still good on that front. But what I want to do is add at least one more to these because we've got more drones. Hopefully that system will... Uh, I don't really think it's going to speed up, but as, as we add more truck stops and... And more drones, maybe? I really, I don't think we're going to add more drones. Let's see, uh, let's see where we're at in our research tree. We're up to 3,000, which is pretty good. To get to that 4,000 mark, I think we're going to definitely have to add another truck stop. But we just added a bunch more drones, which means the trucks will enter and exit faster. Or rather, exit faster. So let's see what that does if we let another month roll by. That system is still good. I'd really like to see this thing coming with a full five car capacity, but eh, for now it'll work. So the drones, they do seem to kind of split up, which is good. I was worried they were all going to jumble up on one side. Eventually we'll, we will get rid of all these drones. There's a much better system that we're on the road to unlocking. Um, step one was making sure we didn't go bankrupt, which I'm very glad that didn't happen. Step two will be adding in a little research center right here to siphon out just enough research to get us that 25 right there. Plus, I think we need it. Yeah, we need to get to 60 for this. We've already hit that on coal, but we need to get to 60 for that. But we are a long way away from that kilogram mark. So for now, we're just going to focus on the money and the extra weight once we get there. But now that we're in the positive, guys, give me just a few minutes to let things run and accumulate some money, and we'll get into our next move. Alrighty, guys. I seem to do this every single time. I get so caught up in playing with you guys and for you guys that I lose track of how long these videos are, are becoming, and I don't want to make them any longer than 20 or 25 minutes. So that's going to wrap it up for episode three. I really hope you enjoyed it. We got some more things done, our second factory. So please, if you liked or found anything helpful, helpful that you saw, please take a moment to like, subscribe, Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think I'm doing right or wrong. I would love to hear from you, and I respond to every single comment that I absolutely can. But other than that, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you in Episode 4.